Hey everybody, Trisha here with Sewing Parts Online. Have you ever been walking through your sewing store and you see one of those fancy machines with the laser and you think to yourself, man, I wish my little machine had that feature. Well, guess what? There's a notion out there that will give you that experience. And it not only works well, but it won't break the budget. Stick around and I'll tell you what it is. It's the three-in-one rechargeable laser system by Vivilux. Let me say that again, rechargeable. I don't know about you, but I really dislike buying batteries. So that alone had me looking at this product. What do you say we unbox this thing? So let's see what goodies we have. We've got the actual laser. The little light box measures two and a quarter inches by one and a half inches. The little flexible gooseneck is approximately seven inches long. Just a little side note, this may be white or black. You get your USB charging cord and your wall mount. Place that in there. And then this end would just plug right into your laser and you'll be able to plug it into the wall and charge your laser. Now I know that you're going to want to use your laser right away, but when you get it, please make sure to charge it for at least three hours. While charging, there's going to be a little red light on the back. Once it's completely charged, that will go away. Next we have our little interchangeable caps. These are going to adjust the laser beam. On the side, it shows a little picture showing you which one it is. You've got a dot, the line, and the crosshair. I'm sorry if you can't see this on camera, but in person they're, they're very convenient. Next, depending on the laser system that you select, it'll come with hook and loop tape, which I will affectionately refer to as Velcro, since that's how I know it. <laughs> you also get your alignment guide, which we will be discussing more further on in the video. And you get 100 alignment stickers. We do sell more of these um, individually if needed. Lastly, it comes with a little instruction packet. All of that in one little box. There are several different options to choose from when it comes to these lasers. So the first thing that I wanna mention is the color of the actual laser. You've got a red option and you have a green option. So with the red option, we found that it works really well on light colored fabrics. Also, it's a great choice if you're just getting into using a laser system since it is a little less in price. Now with the green, a um, couple of things that I really like about the green option. Um, although it is a little bit more, it is actually intended to reduce eye fatigue. So we all know sitting at your machine for a long period of time, that can be a real issue. So that was a huge benefit to me. Also, I find that the, the high, like really bright green beam is very easy to see on an assortment of fabrics. So I just think all around, it's the better choice for myself. What do you think you would use? Comment below. Here are several different fabrics ranging in color and pattern so that you can see how the different lasers look on each one. So let's talk about how we're going to attach it to our machine. We've got the Velcro attachment or the magnetic option. Now the magnetic attachment is intended for sewing machines with a metal body. Most of the newer machines are made with a hard plastic shell. Those will require the Velcro option just because metal, magnetic, plastic, magnet won't work, right? So you do have to get the Velcro option. I myself prefer the Velcro. I found that the magnetic one wasn't quite strong enough for my liking, but the Velcro, super easy to install in your machine and it has the hold that I'd like. As for where you put it on your machine, that's really a preference. Um, some common places would be up top, on the inside, or right here. So I am going to be installing it on the top just because I like it out of my way and I think that will work very well on this machine. I'm going to install it and show you how it works. Just a quick note, I did decide to install it on the side of the machine instead. Now let's take a closer look at the interchangeable caps. The one millimeter dot is used to mark the point on your fabric where you want your needle. The line is to mark a straight sewing line. It works as a perfect visual for a seam and a cutting guide, and it will work with any seam allowance. 
The crosshair helps you locate the center on an embroidery project, a quilt block, or a pocket. Let's do a close-up view of the alignment guide. This little tool is great. You've got your quarter inch increments on the one side and some of your standard measurements on the other. Let's say you wanted to do a 7 8 inch seam. You would place your needle in the little hole and then you would center your guide on your machine and then you would line up your laser on the side of the guide. Let's go see how it works. Since I chose a 7 8 inch seam, I did lower the needle into the 7 8 inch hole. Now I can freely move around my guide. I'm going to use the lines on the needle plate and the grid on the alignment guide to straighten it out. Once I've found the appropriate spot, I'm just going to lower my presser foot to help it from moving. Now I can turn on my laser and just bring it over to the edge of the alignment guide. Once you have it appropriately positioned, then you can just lift up your presser foot, lift your needle, and remove the guide. Now you can just move through your project with ease. And that is just one example of many. Please make sure that you comment below. Let me know how you would use this awesome product. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. Although this product has been around for a little while, it's just too good not to talk about. Gotta give credit where credit is due. Until next time, happy sewing everybody!